everyone welcome back to the negative space within it is so good to be back thank you for joining me today and today we are going to be discussing the widely accepted stages of grief when it comes to experiencing grief uh, what we commonly think of is experiencing grief when we experience the death of somebody close to us when we experience death which is, I think, the most intense way that we experience grief. But we can also experience grief in different ways. We as humans grieve in many situations, whether it be divorce, a breakup, getting laid off or fired possibly, losing a friendship. We grieve in a lot of situations and these stages of grief apply to those situations. So today I'm going to be going over the five stages and Knowing these stages can be helpful to you if you experience an event, a loss of some kind, because you'll know what to expect. You can look over these stages and understand more of what you're going through, especially if this is the first time you're experiencing some kind of loss, especially if it is a death of somebody close to you. So the five widely accepted stages of grief are denial, anger and guilt, sadness and despair, acceptance and hope, and the aftermath stage. So first up, the denial stage is a period of numbness and often shock that follows the major loss. That can be death or whatever loss that you're experiencing. This denial period, sorry, that's my cat. <laughs> this denial period allows for the person to have time to absorb the reality of what has just happened to them and allows for them to have time to slowly adjust to their new reality and to their new situation now that this loss has affected their life. So next up we have the anger and guilt stage. As this denial period wears away, a rise of new emotions will typically come up. This can result in feeling angry or disappointed in the person that you lost, or even feeling angry with God or whatever deity that you worship for letting this bad event happen. It's common to feel unreasonably responsible or guilty about imagining all the possibilities you feel that you could have done or this person could have done to prevent this situation from happening that incurred this loss. And it's possible to even feel guilty for the anger and disappointment that you're having. The sadness and despair stage. Varying degrees of sadness, loneliness, and yearning are to be expected. And it's important to remember that even though you may feel overwhelmed by these feelings, it's really important not to avoid them. Crying sadness and thinking of your loss and other expressions of grief are important to the healing process and it's not breaking down or weak, it's essential. Having a good network of support in place and reaching out to those people, even possibly joining a support group, will help lessen the loneliness and depression and will help you move through this stage. Acceptance and hope. Gradually accepting and adjusting to the changes your loss has brought to your life can give you hope for the future again. These changes will take time and they may be painful, but this can be a chance for personal growth. And of course, during these painful moments, it may be hard to see how life can be better. And no doubt that your life will change in some way after experiencing this loss. But you will come out of the other side and it's really important to remember that. You may come out the other side perhaps stronger and perhaps wiser than you were before. And the aftermath stage. Just when you think you should be over it, as we commonly say, another reminder will come up for you and another wave of grief, another wave of emotion, of sadness or despair may wash over you again. And that can bring up some of those really intense emotions. Although this may continue for months or years, with time, 
the waves will become smaller, less frequent, and easier to manage. But again, this takes a lot of time and you have to be patient. And I know that's the hardest thing to do. And letting yourself experience all of these emotions that grief will bring is, it seems intolerable at times. But again, it is important to remember that there is no way over it or under it. The only way is to move through it. So this is a brief outline of the five stages of the grieving process. It's also important to note that the severity and length of each stage is different for every person and every situation. And not everybody experiences every single stage. Please know that you're not alone and having a network of support is really important for you during this time of your loss. And again, support groups and individual therapy are important and great resources to access as well. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me here on the Negative Space Within. I'll see you next time.